You know, I have to say I'm grateful for the mask and the sunglasses to cover my face because otherwise I walk around the city and I just, people are following me, the paparazzi won't leave me alone. I mean, I'm kind of a big deal here. Just kidding. But something really fun did happen recently. I was featured in an article, a local news outlet here called Trani Live, and it gave me exposure to this community like I did not anticipate. When the journalist reached out to me to see if I wanted to talk, I was like, yeah, sure, sounds like fun. Actually, you all have met the journalist who interviewed me for this piece because I flipped the camera on him to ask him about Panettone and Pandoro for last week's YouTube video. Someone prefers Panettone and someone prefers uh... Pandoro. That's Fabio. So he interviewed me, wrote this piece. Katie Quinn, the American vlogger, and Yosua Marito, Connor, who have just made Trani home. Didn't expect it to be considered news that I moved here, but it has brought all kinds of fun things. In the week since that article was published, I've had so many people reaching out to me, inviting me as their guest to their business to the mayor's office, for instance. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's been pretty fun to be a celebrity here in Toronto. You guys can be my groupies. Come on. So Toronto is in a province in Italy, kind of a triad of cities called Barletta, Andrea, Toronto. And so basically, after getting all of these messages, I have like a pretty full calendar of uh, people to meet, things to do. Let's see if we can figure out this bus situation. Buongiorno. Grazie. There you go. So today, this morning, it's gonna be my first time riding the bus. Andrea, the city just next to here, is known for its olive oil production. I made it to Andrea. Yay! Let's go make some olive oil, shall we? A lot of other places are just industrial now, and this place is Super legit, vecchio, e molto vecchio. Ciao Mario Miccoli, eh, siamo qui nel frantoio oleario Miccoli, il più antico di Andria. Eh, Quest'anno festeggiamo 150 anni di produzione. Io sono la quinta generazione di eh, lavoro come frantoiano. Noi produciamo olio extravergine di oliva con eh, il metodo tradizionale produciamo due qualità di olio, intenso e medio. The olives are brought to a grinder and turned into a paste. The paste is then spread onto these fiber discs, which are stacked on top of each other, then placed into a press. That squeezes the oil and water out, and these liquids go into a tank, which is then separated pretty easily because oil is lighter than water, so it floats to the top. The water and the discard bits are collected, and this all goes back into the fields as fertilizer. And so all that's left is this. Gorgeous, pure, extra virgin olive oil. Since 1870, they've been making olive oil this way. Ah, for you, for you. Oh, wow. So that was stinking awesome. How am I such a foodie and I have never seen that? That was so cool. I love that. I, I was like a freaking kid in a candy store. So good. And yo, I can't be coming to Andrea and not get burrata. Home of burrata? Yeah. So my friend Francesca, who you all met in a previous video. I'm Francesca. I'm from Puglia. I'm from Andrea. She gave me a recommendation for a cheese shop. There's of course a really loud truck behind me right now, but she gave me a cheese shop recommendation, so that's where I'm off to. No, okay. Uh, videos to YouTube? No, okay. Oh, bellissima. Grazie. Just back from Andrea, I've got my olive oil and I've got so much cheese. I was like, I can't bring back all this cheese and not show you all like the sexy close-ups of this cheese. to go 
to Andrea. Now let's see what else I get up to in Trani. Yesterday was olive oil. Today is supping. Supiamo. Supiamo on the beautiful Adriatic Sea. Ready to do this? It's nice hanging out with a local celebrity. <laughs> yeah, darn straight it is. That is going to be us. Sì, io ho visto l'articolo su Trani Viva sì. e mi sono subito andato a informare su, su Instagram, poi sì. ho visto il canale YouTube, noi ci interessano gli influencer di Trani. Grazie per aver inviarmi. No, Grazie. ci mancherebbe. <ride> e quindi voi sapete sappare, vi prendete ora due sap. È bellissimo, Gio. È figo, eh? È figo. Sì. Conno! Grazie. Prego. <ride> Freddo e la temperatura? Sì. 12-13 no, gradi. Di più anche. 14. Sì. Ok. E esterna un 15, 16. Ok. Sì. sì. Buongiorno. Ciao. Oh, this is gonna be too small for me. Eh. Ah, con... No, no, no va bene, va bene, va bene. È perfetto. Sì, sì, no, va bene, va bene, deve essere stretta. I got those hips though. I fianchi. <laughs> Sono pronta. I wonder what the weather in London is right now. Slackers. <laughs> Not bad. It's <laughs> scronzo. <laughs> Dopo la sappata ci vogliono i sali minerali, un'ottima Peroni, sudata, 20 dicembre, Zatrani, credo che il futuro sia meraviglioso. Oh, yes. 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 Cin cin, salute, grazie. Si se lo cade. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> All right, now that you're like kind of wet, you oh should probably just go get gosh. the water. Oh my gosh. Oh. All right, now we burn these. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Monday morning. It was a great weekend full of lots of activities, but the fun activities are not over. What's happening today? We're giving it a, an official welcome from the mayor. We, you are, I'm just, I'm just the hanger on. Official welcome, but no, you're Il Suo Marito. Super cool to go to City Hall and be escorted to see the mayor, Amadeo Botaro. He was super kind and I brought him some American style chocolate chip cookies, which he seemed to appreciate. <laughs> also fun fact, there's an espresso bar in City Hall. You know it's a special cultural moment when this one drinks espresso. Yeah. <laughs> Went in, went in Trani, I guess. It's like, he does not like his presence. I'm gonna be bouncing off the wall. <laughs> oh God, save me, save me. This morning, I am off to a pasticceria. They make cookies and delicious treats because Domenico reached out to me saying, I own a pasticceria in town with my father. So let's go meet Domenico. Domenico! Ciao! <laughs> e padre! E padre! Sapienza! 
eh, pasta di mandorlo I'm so glad that Domenico reached out to me because it also took me to a new part of Trani where I've never been to this to this little neighborhood before. Dimmi. Vorrei uh, qualche uova. Sì. Bianche o rosse? Qual è la differenza? La differenza le bianche sono più leggere. Okay. Adatte per fare i dolci e ai bambini. La rossa invece è più saporita, è più concentrata. Ah, ok. Buono per fare eh, bollito, per la pasta, c'ha più sapore. Ah, capisco. Ok, sì. Questo. 2 euro, ok? Già, yeah, sì. Sì. It is a beautiful day today. Just a couple days from Christmas. The super cool thing of having so many people reach out to me is just the awareness of them and what they're doing and people are doing really cool things here for instance i wouldn't have known otherwise that there is a beer made here i'm really excited and i'm gonna go get some giuseppe con la birra le birre finalmente ci siamo ci abbiamo fatta a incontrarci ho <laughs> la birra di trani si si questa è una belgian blonde ale questa è la british strong ale This is a gift for you. Oh, oh, oh. Christmas. Oh my goodness. Grazie mille. He would not let me pay for those beers. Oh, so sweet. He's smart. He knows how to get a repeat customer. I'll be back. More birra tanese will definitely happen. So cute that kid's playing guitar. <laughs> I'm going to meet up with a ragazza, Ingrid, who reached out to me. She is French. She used to live in New York City, and now she lives here. What are the chances? So, yay, new friends. This is Ingrid. <laughs> Bonjour de Trani. Admirez la vue. Woo! French, uh, Italian, uh, American friend. Exactly. <laughs> um, Ingrid, why don't you tell these fine folks what not to forget? Keep it quirky. She knows it. As we near the end of this year and slow down a bit this holiday season, I'm wishing you delicious things and lots of adventure. And I hope you took some risks, even if you sometimes failed. <laughs> and I hope you laughed it off. I hope you meet new people, were kind to each other, made new friends, even through masks. So buon Natale dall'Italia. A presto.